Welcome back. I'm out in my large greenhouse trying to get some heat going with this Jean Payne composting system. And before I show everybody, I want to pay some credit to Jean Payne himself. He was a Swiss born French inventor who was noted for creating and basically data logging the compost heater. He was able to meet 100% of his energy needs on his homestead by using compost and harvesting the methane from that compost also. Now his documentation showed his heating of water to 60 degrees Celsius or 140 Fahrenheit at the rate of about four liters per minute. He was harvesting all the heat with water, but he was also covering and harvesting his methane and even running his truck off of the methane that he harvested and having free gas to burn on his homestead. The subject has always piqued my interest and now that I have these greenhouses, I'm putting it to good use and experimenting, trying to see what I can get to work for me and using his methods to kind of improve upon it and harvest some air through my compost also, pulling some hot air off as opposed to just harvesting methane and water. Now we've had some really abnormally warm temperatures, but we've had some really cold temperatures too, and it's just fluctuating back and forth. So we've got to get some heat in here that we can sustain a steady temperature. So we're not just warm during the day and trying to hold everything as long as we can into the night, which is not always successful unless you have the perfect passive solar greenhouse. Now we're in the late winter, so if I can get this going correctly, I will have enough heat to suffice until springtime comes. And I wanted to share with everybody how I put this together. I wanted to come down to the loop. This is where my water ends and it is flowing through our hose right now. I am yet to bury our hose and I am yet to put our compost pile together because I wanted to show everybody what I had going on as far as setting it all up. So first things first, we've got our little power bank here. We have our solar powered system. We got a 100 watt solar panel. That is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some type of energy source in order to move your water. And once you've secured your energy source, which I just have mine temporarily put together because I just set all this up. So you can see my power lines running from my box over to my water pump. I just have my water pump running to some peck tubing and I have that just little made a little gasket inside there and clamped it around it and it is cranking the water through all of this copper tubing which is going to end up being buried in the center top center mass of my hot compost pile I'm going to build here. This is our next connection where our copper tubing comes in and runs all the way through the floor back out to the loop where we started back up and around and dumps out right into our overflow tank here we've got some decent water flow i didn't want it to be too massive of amount for water flow because i wanted to be able to transfer the heat to my water without forcefully pushing the cold water past it kind of like our little box here you can see how bad it's sweating because it's not having time to catch up and actually heat that water as much as it wants to so it's causing condensation in there because our box is 80 degrees and it was well over 100 when I started working out here today when the sun was a little bit brighter. So I wanted to show this little water pump because it's basically the same thing that I'm using, just a lot newer. Basically just a DC water pump and all your connections are there. This one actually has a float on it just in case we did run out of water or we had a leak and pumped our water out, it would shut off and not burn itself up. Water flow is the number one key factor in this system because without the water flow we're just creating hot compost and either harvesting air or just methane moving this hot water through here is very valuable to get heat through the entire floor of my greenhouse and i have all of this old extra poly here pretty clean stuff it was from the build of this skin here so i'm going to be able to lay that out over some hoops and i am looking for some free materials or cheap materials from local salvage yards and stuff like that so i can grab some metal to bend for hoops in here to get some extra warmth and to be able to hold that warmth from our warm hose that is going to be running underneath i'm basically trying to create and recreate the system that i'm running in my small greenhouse my little 6 by 12 cattle panel greenhouse but this is a 520 square foot greenhouse that's seven foot tall and i dug down in the soil so it's probably eight feet tall in certain spots so we've got a lot of airspace in here that just 
circulates and loses heat to the outside. So heating the floor and covering my rows will hold that heat in a lot closer to the soil and provide a lot more benefit from that heat as opposed to just sharing it with the airspace of the whole greenhouse. I wanted to show everybody the process of setting this up and using solar power. If you have a plug, you are much better off. You don't have to go through the process of setting up solar power and timing it and getting all of that in order in order to run your water pump. You can just plug it in and go and that is much easier but this is free energy that I'm using from the sun all of this is free running just off of solar energy now if anyone's got any questions on setting up a system like this or setting up simple solar like we have definitely drop it in the comments below this was very simple to do once I've done it a few times all I have to do is just get all the parts and throw it together it all works in the same general way whether it's a small scale or whether it's on a large scale I want to thank everybody for watching these videos and checking this one out this is a very cool subject I really enjoy manipulating all of these aspects of the system and seeing what works best and kind of fine-tuning this for myself in the future here so when I go to set this up for next winter I know exactly how much copper coil I need to ratio of compost to burn for the entire winter basically so it's been all about experimenting and I'm glad I do because I learn a lot when I get my hands on and actually create these systems and use them